All right, what's going on guys? Matt here from Become Elite, and today I'm doing something completely new called Two Minute Tuesday. I got this idea from Peter McKinnon, just like a photography YouTube channel, and he basically brings up a topic and just talks about it in under two minutes. So it's quick, it, he really talks about a relevant topic that a lot of people have questions about, it's informative, and I just really like the style, so I'm gonna give it a try. So let's put two minutes on the screen and let's get started. Today I'm gonna cover if training in cleats is any different than training barefoot or in running shoes or indoor shoes or in socks or in your living room. I get this question asked so much and I think this quick video is gonna help out a lot of players. Now, to start, there is some truth behind that quote of that you need to practice how you play. The more often you play under game-like scenarios, the more likely that training is gonna translate into your real games. Because this, I always try to train in my cleats that I'm gonna wear in my game that weekend. So I can just get used to the touch, the control, striking the ball, the weight of it on my feet, just the, the individual cleat on my feet so I can just get comfortable. This is also why teams generally train on grass before playing on grass or they'll end up training on turf the entire week before they play on turf in the weekend. They get used to that environment so that there's no sudden changes or there's nothing unexpected that comes up. But having said that, if you can't train in your cleats because you're at the beach, you're on concrete, you're indoors, you're on your carpet, if you're still gonna improve your technical ability, you're still gonna get better, you will still benefit from your training regardless of what you have on your feet if you have anything on your feet at all. This is because you are ingraining all those movements, all that training into your muscle memory. In fact, most of the best players in the world grew up playing barefoot or just in their normal day-to-day -day shoes in the streets, just kicking a ball around, having fun. They just trained in what they had. And actually, me personally, I did tons and tons of my training just barefoot in my house or just with indoor shoes on a hardwood surface because I'm from Portland and it rains literally probably like 300 days out of the year. I didn't wanna always train outside in the rain. So to sum up, you will improve regardless of what you have on your feet, but if possible, try to train in cleats on the normal surface that you normally train on just so you can get used to it. There's nothing unpredictable about it when your games come. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new segment, Two Minute Tuesdays. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Did I make it?